see my ray class is actually we got one we go again and we also have more here see that? yeah so we've successfully destroyed all of the alien boxes lying around our community so let's walk around the whole arena and just see how the whole town looks like see you can see the ray cars showing you guys every single area and we have a car there and right here we also have or seats for anyone there yeah, and we can always just walk on this part straight down there we go guys so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to take you straight into unity development environment and we put one of these together let's do that now guys hi and welcome to unity tutorial first person shooter I'm going to start by clicking on new and let's give our project a name and make sure you select 3d I'm just going to call it FPS click on create there okay now that the development environment is ready I'm going to go straight to the I rocket right here and let's select create and we'll come right here we we'll see where we have 3d objects let's select the plane and the size of the plane now I'm going to make that 200 that's for the X axis and the Y axis I'm going to leave that as one because it's just the volume anyway so the Z axis I'm going to make that 200 as well so let's zoom in or we can just press F or go to edit and press frame selected there we go so that is my plane now the next thing I would like to do is to make sure that the standard asset is on the system here I have my standard asset and I also have another asset that I intend to use you can always make up your own asset I intend to use those as well and the other thing I would like to do is also to import skybox so to get that done I'm gonna go straight to Windows you see right here asset store and we just need all skybox free just type in all skybox free and you should be able to see it that's all There we go right there so we're now going to import that straight onto our system all right i have to speed things up by downloading the all skybox free for my skybox the next thing i'm going to download now is going to be the western pro oh the other thing we can do is to go straight to the website and just type in dev asset that is it right here west pack okay and you can always donate to this site just click on what you want that's the one I really want okay and you guys can uh, just donate to help them out as well okay that would be great yeah okay I'm gonna minimize that okay guys I've added all of the asset that I need for this tutorial now let me show you the asset. I found the brick from internet okay and here I have the all sky free you can get those from your unity asset store building apartment you're gonna need that as well you can also get those from unity asset store all you just need to do is type in building apartments right there and you should be able to see the 
the download link right there. there. There we go. That is it. That's the Unity. That those are the buildings I intend to use from Unity Asset Store. It is free. Okay, now grenade. Grenade pack free. Just type in grenade pack free right in there then we have the standard asset which i expect you to have if you don't have that come right in here type in standard asset and you should be able to get yourself a copy of the standard asset and let's see there we go there we go that's the standard asset you can download it that you add that to your project okay it is free as well right there okay the other one is the street probes okay just type in street probes in there and that should pop up in there you, you get your maybe the bench that people sit on and the street light those are all the components that I need for this project now the next thing I'd like to show you to you guys is I've also added my own sound that I intend to use. This is for exp um, explosion, and the, the the bullet one is going to be for when the explosion is actually shot from the weapon okay that's all so let's come back in here now the next thing we want to do right now is I'm gonna create a folder that very folder I'm gonna call that folder material inside our very folder I'll then create some other materials in there come in here you see the the material and let's give that a name so that will be red or oh, maybe yeah that's fine red and the other one is going to be let's create another one that we will call maybe flow uh, let's come right in here flow there so let's take care of this floor first and in here okay first of all let's change the color to something dark blue something like that yeah that's fine okay and i will now come right in here just drag the floor drop it in there come into where we have our video click on that and i just want to select something that will jazz it up a little bit now let's see yeah maybe this let's select that there okay that is my flow that's how it's going to look like now that that is taken care of i like that I'm going to create another material. This other material, I'm just going to change the color to yellow. I intend to use that for the cards that I intend that I'll be adding onto my first person shooter. Now, let's take care of one important thing. You see this sky box? If I run this program now, this is what you guys will see. Yeah, that's how it's looking now. Okay, so let's change the sky box. To something a little bit darker so end that now go straight to windows right here select windows and we go to rendering click on lighting system and right inside the lighting system there you see here skybox material click on that and you should be able to see whatever skybox that you want Okay, you can see all of the sky box. Look at them. Take a good look at it. There's one here. I may end up using one of these. Let's see if there's any other one. This seems to be a little bit too light for what I want to use it for. Okay, let me set you for this. Okay, my sky box is already in place. If I run the program, this is how my program is going to look like. There we go. Alright, and that's now let's do one thing you see in here i'm going to right click on it and let's select top 
and let's go right in a little bit then the next thing I like to do is to come right here you see the albedo I will then select the cube this cube that I've just selected I'm going to make that I'm going to make the Z axis for that very cube 2000 the Y axis I'm going to make that about 100 yeah you might be wondering what am I doing with all that okay let's get it positioned dead center and move this down okay that's fine can even reduce it a little bit maybe 1008 1800 okay that's fine 1800 is perfect for the purpose now the next thing I will want to do is I'm going to officially copy this just hold on to your control and press D or you can come in here right click and just create a duplicate duplicate has been created drag that away from there you see this very first one I'm going to give that a name so that I think I don't get it mixed up so that is going to be main road okay or motorway yeah let's call it motorway yeah that's fine motorway and these are just for street main street one okay you see the main street one I'm gonna change the size of that main street one so just make it a little bit smaller make that about 50 there and I'll just copy it across so copy create a duplicate that will be main street 2 drag that here I think I might need yeah, I might need one right by yeah right by the roadside okay drag that here yeah create another one control D drag drop and two more control D one here and one here then let's do the same thing for this control D there we go right you see the main one this very one here I want to change the color of that to black so let's select create okay create material this material I'm just gonna enter black to it and let's change the color of it to black change the color to black there okay that's fine well, let's do that again all right that's fine so I'm gonna drag the black make sure it's inside my material I don't want it all over the place drag the black color and dump it right there dead center that is my main road and I intend to put some road markings there it might not be so visible now okay but that is it right there now the next thing is you see this street market streets markets that I have in there I'm going to copy one of them yeah copy just one so we say control D and I'm just gonna make that let's enter let's get it rotated I'll make it about 90 yeah and I will reduce that to about well, let's go for maybe 900 yeah I just want some okay this will be some road that leads to maybe 800 okay then 8 yeah that's fine so we can always move or divert from the road in the, to the other road okay control D again I might need more than one to select this another control D just drag it right here it's getting messy so let's come in here create empty game object this empty game object I'm just gonna call it game object road with an S right drag every single road markings straight in here let me select it just move this down take it right down let's keep going yep that's fine now let's inch it up a little bit 
Right, I'm gonna just run it and see how it's gonna look for now. Okay, that means I need to adjust my camera. Okay, yeah, just adjust the camera. Yeah, okay, looking good. Now, you see here, right in the middle there, I'm gonna need some or the more road markings okay so let's come right here let me grab one of these and I'll just reduce it all I'll create one or grab one okay I'm going to actually right click and just create a duplicate of that and there we go okay so paste it right there and then carry out the changes this very one I'm gonna call it road maps or white road markings white road all right there now I'm gonna reduce the X axis to 2 and the Y axis I'll just make that about 20 yeah it's not that visible for now let's right here so that you guys can see it that is it right there yeah okay I need the material for it oh the color is white anyway so let's come in here we need to paste that right on top of the road the main road itself right there yeah that's that's it okay we can always copy that control d and just make a couple of those as well there we go okay i have all my road markings in place so let's run it and see how it looks like then we take it from there there okay now the next thing is I'm going to add some buildings okay let's do that um, come right here and look at this I think I need to change these road markings back to 2000 yeah I think it's gonna be 2000 okay that's fine all right that's much better let's take care of the buildings very fast the first thing is, you see right in here, so you guys are going to need that as well if you intend to use the type in the same type of building that I'm using. You can see it is called building apartment. You can always get a copy of that from the Unity Asset Store. And right there, I'm going to select this. That's the blue one, and this one is kind of like uh, reddish, or they call it red brick. So I'm going to grab one of these red brick drag and just let's dump it here somewhere there then we'll position it properly so that very red brick i'm going to make the size of it 16 by 16 by 16 16 all there we go so my first building is in place right i'm going to just hold on to the control d drag done now grab the blue one and drag the blue one right here somewhere do that again yeah it's right there somewhere okay now the color of the blue one or the size of the blue one i'm just going to make that 12 by 12 by 12 right got the blue one in place as well so i can then just copy and arrange as i want okay for the blue one i need one two and three copy paste control d there the red ones let's grab the red one one two okay control d as well and drag okay so that's how i want it yeah, now we also need some blue ones here control D grab right over there control D again 
another one there okay that is it I'm just going to leave in between here empty so I'm going to repeat exactly the same thing for this side or this part of the plane okay let's select it all oh first thing first this is getting very messy let's minimize the roads there now let's create another empty game object that very empty game object I'm just going to change it to game object buildings there we go grab all my buildings and dump it right inside the game object buildings now there's one more out there's two more actually out there two building apartment out there so drag them in let's see if there's any more out select it all now okay that's easy so I can then create another one control D let's drag that right here we may have to rearrange this one yeah okay that is fine but maybe move everything in here that's from what game object from game objects 13 and let's take it down here so that I know where that, that is so I'm gonna move this this very one for now let's just move it away for now and move this one move all of these gear buildings right in okay okay let's select I'm going to select all of the buildings and just move them in select it all and just go like that all right that we do we need exactly the same thing here okay well, first thing first let's move this okay this can now come right in here that will be the markings in between the roads in between yeah all right let's take this in as well we'll see if it works the way i want okay that is fine what about this one i think this is number six let's select this one to find out what number that is yes yeah, six move it away out of the way for now you see all of those buildings i'm now going to copy them again and just repeat the same thing exactly the same thing on the other side select it all and there we go select it all now come on yeah i'm gonna copy control d right here okay now we need to rearrange the whole lot so i'll just do that and get back to you guys Oh, that's easy anyway let's just grab this two one and two and just move it back move this back and move this back as well that takes care of that repeat the same thing for the other one back and back all oh, right that's fine okay if i run it now this is how it's gonna look like guys there we go okay we can now add maybe church corner shop and so on okay since it's a first person shooter game I, I would like to be able to move around so i'm going to stop it and let's just go straight into the first person shooter inside the let's collapse this for now and collapse this as well collapse this too let's go straight into the first person shooter inside the standard assets drop that down you see where we have character come right there open it up and we have first person shooter character there 
and what I need is the prefab that's the folder called the prefab I'm gonna grab this first person shooter okay let's drop it there for now run the program I just want to use it to see how the whole um, design looks like look at that you see that guys all right so I can now go around and see how it all looks like yeah well, that's fine okay let's press the alt key and then stop it. stop it right there okay now you see these two move that in yeah just about that and we need to do the same thing for this one okay right so we need to move this in a little bit maybe this move these buildings out of the way so is the design that is taking much time anyway the design is you know, I like it to be in depth right okay okay let's come into this very folder low poly mini village okay right in there there are some components that I would like or there are some assets that I would like to use so I'm gonna click on this and let's go to second and right in here let's select the prefab yeah all prefab and let's go scroll right down I think you can always search if you want but okay yeah there we go or you can always search if you want if you just type in whatever you want in there so I'm gonna grab this church and just dump it right there within where there's enough space there okay you see for the church um let's maybe I wish you make that a little bit bigger because here is yeah let's go for about 16 by 16 by 16 by 16 there we go that's the church but the church is facing the wrong side so let's maybe change it to 90 and see how that's gonna look like no it's meant to be maybe 270 yeah it's now facing the right way that I want okay I'm also gonna find out if it's gonna be good enough that all of that size would be good enough okay that is the church that looks a little bit too big though let's see let's run it and see um, let's come back in here and select maximum then we take it from there okay all right it's not too bad okay that's a big church it's huge okay then. and that's right there now the other thing I want that I can take care of now would be the oh look at this uh, caravan let's drag the caravan here somewhere yeah there's a caravan just parked right there maybe the driver should be given a ticket there's a caravan there and that caravan we can just turn it around right that's 270 actually turn the caravan around okay maybe another neighbor has a one as well so let's say control D and just drag it over there two caravans there now what else do we need what about street light let's come in here okay you see for the street lights you need the low poly mini village for the church why for the street light we need the street props okay so let's go in here and just click so let's see right there okay I'm gonna grab this let's grab that and drag it here somewhere here and I just change it to let's say 40 50 and 20 right there look at that that looks beautiful 
I'll just copy that across and speed up things and get back to you guys. So we have two there, so let's select and just copy across. Control. Or we can just select it like that and just move this across here. Yeah. So I'll speed things up and get back to you with the street light. Okay guys, I have all the street light in, in place. Let's hold on to shift and space then you see all of it the way it looks like shift space again that's it that is how it's looking now okay that's not too bad guys right okay one other thing I want to do now is to add some trees and we need maybe some uh, water hydrate here as well okay so yeah let's get that done let's get it done yeah stop it right there oh i'm running it okay that's how it looks anyway and this or this there a little bit okay i will tidy up later on now let's go back to let's just press shift space to go back to design view now I need some trees maybe we should just type in trees there trees no I don't need the leaves I need the trees itself I don't want the funny looking one I want the real thing there we go those are the trees okay which one do I want first let's grab this and just maybe paste it and place it right there yeah and increase the size a little bit too five by five by five here yeah. i'm gonna copy this as well i don't know which one i have okay i have the desktop one okay grab this drop it there okay that's the same thing all right five by five by five now the next one this one grab and drop it right here so we can make that seven 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 there so what i'm going to do now is just to copy the trees and just populate the whole empty area okay it's not going to be bushy so don't worry about that so let's just click drag and paste it right here somewhere there so i'm just going to speed that up with the trees and get back to you guys that should be a problem for you okay guys as you can see the trees is kind of like giving it a bit of life but before i go any further i'm going to save this project before it's too late save us so make sure you have your asset selected if you don't have it select it and in there i'm just gonna call it mini first person shooter so let's try that again mini fps and save that there okay so let's run it and see how it's gonna look like anyway as you guys can see the the trees have actually given it a bit of life look at that that looks very good i like that i very much like that all right then all right then so let's continue with the design of the interface then uh, we go into the, we go into the coding part of it I'm going to end that okay as you guys can see it's looking good now however we do need a corner shop imagine no corner shop in your neighborhood how are you going to cope so drag that and just dump it right here so let's make that maybe about 8 by 8 by 8 
Okay, I think maybe we should increase that to about 12 here. So that's the corner shop there. Okay, well, we kind of like uh, take care of that later on and just make it look a little bit beautiful. So let's come in here, maybe add another shop somewhere. Um, this very one here, grab it and just dump it there. So these guys here, we have to cross. We have to cross the road to get to the corner shop. There we go. So that is fine. Now, what else do we need? I better take care of it all before we start the coding. Yeah, we need some hydrant along the major way in case there's any fire though. Yeah, I'm gonna grab one of these. Let's place it right here. Let's go for seven, seven, seven. That might be too small, even twelve, twelve, and twelve. Okay, that looks a bit manageable. Okay, then control D and just drag it across. Another control D, drag it across, and one more drag it across now we have four of those so let's select all these ones and select this one here control D and just move it across there that's taken care of good now let's save that what test do we need we need cars yeah we have some cars right in the standard prefer here come right on we need a vehicle there we go that's a vehicle collapse this so that you can see the vehicle right there and inside a prefab I'm gonna grab this grab and drop it right there in the middle of the road and that is going to be maybe about 12 12 that might be too big okay that looks all right yeah that's fine yeah one side of the road and let's change the color if you guys remember the material I created earlier right at the beginning so in there let's say this one is yellow color is the color yellow no it's not changed yet so let's select yellow double click and that's it the yellow color car is right there I'm gonna grab this same card, press Ctrl D, copy it across and just place one here. And this very one, I'm going to rotate it. Let's go for 180. And let's change the color of that to red. Yeah, that would do. Select it, grab. Just grab red, drop it on it. There's that is it so that's good enough for me two cars yeah and maybe move this one forward a little bit so I have my two cars there now okay okay with that let me just run it and see how it's gonna look like yeah that is it those are the cars right here what we need to do is first thing first let's come up here you see the first person shooter I'm gonna drop that down I want to put the camera right inside the first person shooter that's it that's why you see the sign plus so it's not a child of first person shooter so wherever the first person character goes the camera follows as well that is very good now there is one thing i like to do okay what i would actually like to do is you see since i've added the main camera here if i run it the camera will actually be following the first person shooter around but the truth is we can't support anything okay that's which is this is why i would like to add something to do with ray cars so let me stop it right there 
so what I'll do is in here you see inside this camera main camera itself I'm gonna go back to the hierarchy here select create and you see where we have you or you eyes I'm gonna come right down you see image click on the image there look at the size of the image right there so this image will be what will be following my camera all around and because I intend to use a weapon so this would be what you guys will be seeing so what I'm going to do is you see the width I'm going to change that to 20 because that's 100 is just too much for me okay 20 by 20 that is it right there but do I really want to keep this I don't want to keep this but for now let's run it and you see what I'm talking about there we go you see that looks like the first person is service it but it's what I'm going to be using for my target okay I will use it to focus on my target it's what is known as ray cost okay now let's stop right there I'm gonna stop that so instead of using this square I'm going to come right down here you see the the canvas that was created from the UR that is it right there I'm going to select everything canvas image and event system I'm going to select it all and just drag it straight into the main camera so let's keep going main camera right here and just dump it in there there so it follows the main camera around so let's select this the image itself and come right here you see where we have the inspector in the image so what I'm going to do is I'm not going to select anything here we we'll come to the material recast target click on that okay and because there's something I haven't shown to you guys look at this particle effect park you will also find that inside your asset store unity asset store as well so take note of that name 48 particle effect okay so make sure it's selected because in there I, I intend to use a ring style asset so click on that now come right down let's look for the ring style I don't want any of these you can choose that if you want but the one I want there we go look I have different types of rings ring style asset here I'm going to select this okay make sure it's selected all right okay so let's run it oh look the image is out of the canvas let's make sure it's inside the canvas it's, the image is a child of the canvas else we won't be able to see the ring okay now I'm going to come up here and just run it so that you guys see what I'm talking about look at that can you see the ring itself you see that if you want I can increase the size so that you guys see it properly let's come in here and just increase the size to maybe about 50 by 50 and you see what I'm talking about okay and you make sure it's in the center as well look at it okay make sure you select the, the anchor preset make sure it's selected now it's centered and I'm gonna run it one more time and you see what I'm talking about all right it's coming up. there we go look at it that looks a little bit too big though but it's good for my target you just use that to focus on your target then you shoot if you if you have a gun i intend to use some other mechanism all right so that's fine you might even leave it as 50 by 50 for now or maybe 40 i don't know for now i haven't made up my mind for real so let's go for 40 we might we can always increase or, or decrease that so that is taken care of good now we're still in the design process okay so what I want to now do is I now want to add the boxes that I intend to shoot out okay those boxes are right inside the western prop I shown I've actually shown you guys where to get that anyway so let's come right in here you see you see wood uh, the wooden crate inside the wooden crate come right down that is it right there 
and there they are you see this very one that is the crack version and this is the uncrack version so what I intend to do is the uncrack, uh, the uncrack version I'm going to place them on the walkway right here okay let's just grab some of those increase the size of that just push this in a little bit more okay those would be the enemies that we need to take care of grab and just dump it right here so I'm going to grab a couple so but first thing first let's increase the size of that to about two maybe I should go for zero zero point nine that looks like it's a bit too small okay one yeah 1.5 all right go for 1.5 just copy that and paste it around 1.5 1.5 and 1.5 there we go and that looks a bit too big though okay just one there so we can always select control D and just copy right and let's copy one more time let's move that here let's arrange it so that it will give me very good explosion yeah okay I'm just gonna copy this copy it all right okay guys as you can see we have all our boxes there okay but unfortunately we don't know what's in there so we're going to have to get the authority to take care of that but before we can do that i'm going to tidy up things all of these boxes i intend to put them right inside an empty game object so let's just call it wooden yeah i'm just gonna call it wooden crate underscore crate there now select all of the wooden crate and just drag it straight into the game object itself there is more that need to go in there and i think there's one right up there okay minimize that come right up here there is one there that need to go in there let's collapse the trees that and just drag it straight in there where is it come on yeah there we go right now we have all of the boxes in one place i'm going to select it all okay select it all and what i want to do is uh, just to add some components so right here the first thing i'll do is add click on add components and i'm going to select add rigid body to all then the other thing i want to add is i'm going also going to add box collider there so each of these they all have rigid body okay and box collider let's collide collapse all of this so that you can see that is the box collider and that's the rigid body okay collapse that you can always expand it at your own convenience all right that is that done okay now all these wooden crate that i've created i'm going to chain the mass to let's go for about 11 so i'm going to select it all and just enter 11 here there right that is taken care of now let's collapse that the other thing we need to do now is let's come in here to the west prop pack and let's select this very crate okay the cracked version drop the crack version there and I'm going to change the size of this crack version to let's go for 10 by 10 by 10 
there then I would also click on the drop down there and let's select every single crack version because this box is actually in pieces let me demonstrate what I mean look that is one piece and so on so I've selected it all so as you can see they are all individual so what I'm going to do is select it all okay make sure it's all selected now click on add components the component I want to add will be mesh collider okay make sure this canvas is selected there we go all right now we have mesh collider in there and this selected is checked now the next thing I would like to I would have to add would be the rigid body add a rigid body to it there and each of them has their own rigid body the other thing is since it's all selected anyway so let's come in there you see where we have the mass I'm going to make that 0 0.5 right okay that is it that is it all taken care of now just collapse that I will now come right down here drag it straight into my assets folder click drag to create a prefab there and it's asking me would I like to create an original prefab I'm gonna say yes I want to create an original prefab and that is my prefab right underneath here let's move this up so that you can see it a bit that's my prefab okay collapse this so that you can see it properly all right that is done so I can now delete that I don't need it here anymore okay the code will take care of the rest delete now the next thing I want to do is to add a weapon maybe I will, I will set you for that grenade or grenade come in here and that is it I'm going to select M26 just drop that in there I think I'm going to make the size about 16 by 16 by 16 so that we can see it properly there we go that is it there okay all right and that is it right there okay that's good enough so the other thing is I'm now going to add a capsule collider to it so make sure it's selected come right here and let's say capsule collider now that capsule collider is added to it look at the size it's all there it's all everywhere so I'm going to reduce the size of that very capsule collider so the radius let's make the radius 0 0.05 okay it's looking good and the height I'm going to make the height 0 0.14 yeah yeah that is correct I think I've got it right so that's taken care of all right the next thing is for me to now convert this to a prefab but well, it seems seems there's a little bit of, of room here I might as well just make it 0 0.04 okay the radius is now 0 0.04 I think that is fine okay so now that that is done you see the the grenade itself I'm now going to drag it and just drop it right inside the asset here and select original preferred there that is that done okay we don't need this grenade on board anymore we can always delete it now okay let's click in there and just get rid of it there so we have we have our crack wooden box and the grenade okay one other thing I would like to do with these two prefabs is I'm going to I think maybe I should just add some sound to them for now so let's select let's select the 
the grenade which is the m m26 that is it right here so i'm going to come right down here you see where we have uh add components let's look for audio audio source there and i will drag this very sound a uh, rifle single shot okay uh, let's just dump that in here okay and if you want to hear how that sound we can always just play it and hear let's see if we can yeah we should be able to play it somewhere there okay rifle sim single shot is added anyway so what I'm I, I will leave the play on awake I'll leave it on okay so as soon as the grenade is thrown there that sound you to get activated so the other one is you see this wooden crate cracked that very prefab I'm also going to add audio source to it and this time around the the audio I will add will be the explosion this very one okay so go back in there i've added my audio source click drag the explosion and drop it in there so the two components or the two prefab the sound part of it is taken care of m26 that's the name of my grenade there that's the audio source and play on awake is taken care of the wooden crack that one is also taken care of and the play on awake is on is checked as well now okay now guys i'm going to now change the look of this pavement so let's come into let's come into the material here so i'm going to create another material there and I'm just gonna call it pave. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, right inside our material, I need something from here. This very brick. So let's come right down here. Select pave and just come right in here. I think I might be able to even drag. Let's let's see. Click and drag and just dump it right in there. That's it. Done. So. I will now select each of these and just drop my paved. Yeah, that is it. And again, one other thing is let's change the tilings. So I'm going to make that about 8 by 1 there. So I'll just repeat the same thing for the others. So let's come right in here and wrap the others. So there they are, so I'm just going to drag my pave or pavement, whatever it's going to be called, and just dump it right in there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'll just repeat exactly the same thing for the, for the other pavement. Okay. And I'll get back to you guys. You know how to fix that anyway. That shouldn't be a problem. Okay, let's repeat the same thing for the others. Okay, all is taken care of. So just this one left, this very one here. Grab the pavement and just dump it there. Can't even change the name to pavement for real. Let's click on it gently and yeah, it's much better. Okay, that's taken care of. Now the next thing I like to do is to add some bench. Yeah, there we go. There they are. So I'm just going to grab one and just paste it right maybe somewhere here. Okay, let's maybe grab this one. Let's leave it right there. I will then change the size to 15 by 15 by 15. Okay, I see. That's, that's fine. That is fine, so let's see how it's gonna look like in there. 
yeah you see that guys so I'm just gonna select that control D and drag one across over there select boats now and just control D and let's drag one across right and let's change that to 180 yeah so that is fine so rotation is 180 you see they're facing each other so what I'm going to do now I'm just going to select all of those bench as it's called in here I'm going to select it all and just copy it across select that and I think there might be this one here yeah let's control let's duplicate and just drag it across all right we have enough benches out there now okay so i'm going to just speed that up and get back to you guys okay i have all the bench across so what i'm going to do is just let's run it and see how it looks like then we'll take it from there yeah that's fine look at that um i don't like this and I'll get back to you that's no big deal I will get that done okay guys this is how the boxes looks like now so what I'm gonna do is let me just say shift control you see that okay let's go back now I'm going to start work with the scripting so I'm gonna create a folder that I will call script so let's just give our folder a name gently double click on it I'm gonna call it script there we go okay right inside the folder I'm gonna select the script folder and let's go to create let's make sure I select it go to create and I will then select C sharp and in there I'm going to just call it M26 grenade okay the script M26 grenade is created. I'm going to select it and then click on open. You can also double click on it. There we go. There. So I'm going to start by declaring some variable up here. So let's say public. Public float. And I'm going to call that explosion. range okay that will be the range of the explosion so I'm gonna make that approximately seven there so that will be seven float and the other variable I'm gonna declare let me declare another one now and I think I will call that the amount of force but we can just see amount of force okay so let's make that amount approximately I think I'll say to for about 800 there we go now let's declare another public variable but this in this this time around this very public variable is going to be a game object so let's say game object particle effect so that would be for the particle effect once the explosion goes off we expect that to, to just give us some particles up there or maybe firework or whatever all right that is done so the next thing is i'm not going to delete this i'm just going to leave them for now maybe get rid of this comment is on the way and get rid of this one as well so right underneath my void update function so i'm going to create a method here this method i'm going to call that grenade explode okay there 
So let's just call that. Grenade. Explode. Right. So that would be the function that will take care of the explosion. Right. Let's just correct this. Yeah. Okay. Now inside my grenade explosion function, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to create an instantiation. So let's say instantiate. Okay, that would be it. And what do I want it to do? I want it to instantiate the particle effect which I have up there. There we go. And comma let's say transform transform dot position okay and now we also ask it to transform the rotation as well transform dot rotation there we go enter SME column there now that that is done what will happen is I would like it to also destroy the the grenade. Okay, since we've displayed the particle, what we then need to do is to destroy the grenade itself. So I'm gonna just enter destroy game object and that would be the grenade. okay so we need to save this let's save it and go to our scene so right in here what I'm going to do now is you see the M26 and that is the grenade so what I would do is I would then drag the the script that we've just written let's look for the script okay that is my script right there open that up then drag the script straight into M26 which is the grenade select the grenade and let's go to the property inspector here and in there as you can see we have explosion range which is 7 and the amount of force that will be applied on the explosion then the particle effect so let's look for a particle effect inside this 48 particle effect pack I'm going to go for let's see maybe fireball we actually have to make sure the M26 or the grenade itself is visible so let's come right down here yeah okay that is it so I need a fireball drag and just drop it right in there there I'm going to save that let me run it and see how it's going to look like before actually running it we're going to need some prefab grenade here so let me just drag that drop it here let's see click drag yeah just drop one here okay move it up a little bit and here another one yeah and another one here and let's see what's gonna happen move this in the center here okay let's add one more so we have about four okay yeah let's just play around with it and see what's gonna happen that's five in total all right so I have them there so I would then let's just save it and click on run let's see what's gonna happen look at that you see the explosion guys you see that okay i kind of like move my mouse let me do that again so that you guys will see that so run it again so just look at what's gonna happen with the boxes look at that guys you see that, that that's good so let's end it and uh, continue with our codes so as you guys can see nothing happens to the boxes apart from the
particles that we saw exploded so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a method that will take a look at all of the all of the colliders and if these colliders they're getting contact with the sphere it should explode and just move the boxes around so to do that what I'm gonna do is first of all okay I'm just gonna say collider equals no let, let's just make it an array anyway equals I'm going to call it collide no let's just say collider in lowercase then I would then say physics so the physics will do some work there dot over overlay sphere right there okay so those overlay sphere what I then want you to do is to get it transformed okay transform the position dot position comma explosion range okay if you guys remember the explosion range that I declared right up there let me show it to you right up here I have my explosion range there okay so which means when you explode it will cover that very range so now let's use a for loop so I'm going to just enter for each of those for each of those collider okay for each of those collider that will be in a nearby object okay inside the collider here so I now want you to do as follows okay before I can go any further here let me just enter coil braces there but I'm going to have to declare a rigid body variable here. Let me say private. That will be rigid body. And just call it RB. Okay, that's fine. So let's come right down here. So right down here. So to add some force, we just need to say RB equals nearby object and the nearby objects we just need to say get get components and what component are we talking about we're talking about any component with a rigid body there we go there however if the object does not have any rigid body in it we can always use an if statement just to check we can then say rb is not equals to none so if rb is not equals to none what i want the system to do is to go ahead and get it destroyed so we say rb dot add explosion force and that is going to be my variable of the amount of force comma transform dot position comma explosion range there we go there and right underneath here what we then need to say is just destroy okay let's save this now and go into unity just to try it out so i'm going to come in here just click on play and let's see what's going to happen to those boxes look at that look at that you see that explosion okay let me do that again i do that again okay just keep
keep your eye on these boxes and let's see what's going to happen to them boom you see that guys yeah that's what i want however the boxes still remain intact what i want to happen is for those boxes to be shattered so let's take care of that too okay as you guys can see apart from this box get uh, getting been tossed up and down there was no destruction none of the boxes were destroyed so what i'm going to do is i'm going to come in here okay you see where i have my script i'm going to create another script Let's, and we call that enemy destroyer there okay so let's go back in there and select our enemy destroyer make sure it is selected and click on open right there so what we want to do now is so right in here the first thing we need to do is I'm gonna get rid of all of these let's get rid of them or maybe leave one yeah and in here I'm going to declare as follows public and I'll call that variable that will be game object and this game object let's give it a name we can call it enemy or we can just call it destroy enemy destroy enemy yeah it's not too bad right so that is the name of my object game object so the next thing I will do is I'm going to enter public and that would be public void so I'm going to change this to destroy let's say destroyer okay so in the case of the destroyer I need some instantiated method in here so let's come in here and just copy all the instantiated that I have in here instead of typing it all out copy that and come right in here paste that in there I will now change that change my particle effect to destroy enemy there and let's come back in here and just copy destroy object right there and that's all for these very lines of code see how easy that is okay it's not finished yet all we need to now do is we need to call this enemy destroyer inside the m26 grenade so we come right in here so right underneath here we're gonna create let's say we create an object equals let's give it a name I'm gonna call it get enemy and get enemy equals nearby object and this nearby object we then say get component okay what component do we want that we get okay and this component that we want that is going to be enemy destroyer and enter your parentheses there right so let's use an if statement now so we then say if just copy in that paste that in there if close that if enemy destroyer equals new or if any if get enemy not equals to nothing get enemy dot destroyer and we enter our parentheses right there well the spelling is wrong here okay enter that and let's come in here and try to change that let's see yeah let's just change that properly I just noticed that okay so let's come in here there will still be an error there we go right the error is gone so let's make sure this is saved 
now you see this enemy destroyer we now need to go into our unity environment and minimize this right inside the unity environment so let's go into the wooden crate just open that up and select it all okay come right down here get it selected I will now drag the script enemy destroyer and just drop it in there so let's select it individually hopefully that should be or maybe that means I'm gonna have to enter that individually that will be painstaking okay let's do that come in here grab my scripts drag and drop it in there there so right in here make sure it's selected though come right in here so we now need to add our enemy and who is enemy destroyer who are we destroying that will be this script drag that and just drop it right in there okay that will be this uh, the crate that will get shattered so I'm going to repeat the same thing for every single one of the crates okay that shouldn't take me a long time to do so as soon as it's done I'll get back to you guys okay guys all of these my wooden crate they now have their own uh, their own cracked images there okay wooden crate crack okay so number two has its own and so on so that's fine now instead of me to be hanging about so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go straight to let's go straight to the main camera here there and I'm going to add the script so let's come in here and just say script and the script we want is going to be C sharp okay let's give that a name so I, I call it launch grenade that is it right there and I'll make sure C sharp is selected that is fine so I'm going to click on create so let's minimize that so that we can create it okay right there that is it I'm going to move it straight into the script folder there we go right now make sure it is selected and click on open right there so I will start by declaring as follows so it's going to be public Float, and I will call that launch grenade launch grenade force okay equals let's make that maybe about maybe 40 okay now the other the other one is I'm going to declare another one here and I'll call that game object the game object is going to be M26 grenade. Let's just say is M26 green grenade prefab. Yeah, that is the name of my grenade. There. Okay. Okay, I'm going to start by deleting the void stats and get rid of this as well and let's take it up a little bit and there yeah, guys I have to speed up this because it's taking too long so let's save it presume you can see the code properly just few lines of codes right so let's save that again and go to unity okay guys we are now inside unity so what I'm going to do is make sure I select the main camera and come right down here you see where we have the launch 
grenade force so I'm going to select my grenade which is known as M26 click drag and drop it right in here where we have M26 grenade prefab and that's all there is to it so let's try it out but before then I'm gonna save it click on that see yeah there we go right look at the buildings the caravans and let's the cars okay and you can see the rail cars as well as the church right there and let's look for our enemy the boxes as you can see there's the yellow car right over there so but the enemy boxes are right here so let's take them down